Hi, welcome to this video in the Microtasker short series. Today we're going to be getting started, taking the source from a Git repository, building with Visual Studio and then with the GCC compiler. The first thing we do is clone the repository. You will have received the address with your welcome email. I enter the address and then I give a destination path on my local PC. Now I clone. At this point the cloning has completed. You'll note that I didn't enter a password. This is because I'd entered the password previously. You may have to enter one when you perform it the first time. Now that we have a local version, we can see the list of uh, history in the Git client. And also, if we look on the PC, in the directory where I checked out to, we have the Microtasker project. We're going to be building the Microtask of V1.4 application. As we can see here, we have the possibility to build with various IDEs. The ones which we're going to be building for now are the simulator using Visual Studio and the GNU, which is a standalone make file. The Visual Studio Community 2015 edition is free and is, is an extremely powerful environment it's very advisable to use it so that you can also simulate the project. I open the project by selecting the file in the simulator. This is the project file. And once this has been opened, I can view the source files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this project for let's say the Freedom KL 46 board. I've just taken this as random. So what I have to do is I have to take away the default one. And now I select the Kinetis build. And we go. Once the build is completed, I can run the target. This is a simulation of the board. We can see for example that we have uh, an LED on the board blinking and also its um, segment LCD is operating. We're running at 48 megahertz and I'm going to take the opportunity to check the size of the flash which is 265 kilobytes and the size of the RAM is 32 kilobytes. Now that we've seen that the simulation is working, let's try to build for the real target. To do this we're going to use the GNU compiler and in the Visual Studio project I have a target which will do a GCC post build step. However, before I use this I have to make sure that the project is set up correctly for this target so I open up the GNU make file and I check a couple of important settings first of all we are using a processor with a Cortex M0 core which means that I need to tell it that we're going to build for the Cortex M0 and not a Cortex M4 or M7 the other important point and the reason why I uh, verified the amount of RAM and flash in this device is that we also need to set up the linker so, or the linker script file so that it's correct for our target. Now I'm putting in here a KL for the Kinetis L family and we know that we have 256 kilobytes of flash and we have uh, 32 kilobytes of RAM so I'm going to enter it in there. I'm going to do this at the second location as well. I'll explain why once I've made the modification. The difference is that this one 
is a BM that's for the uh, bootloader we're going to generate two outputs the first one will operate standalone that means you can load it to the board all by itself and it will work the second one this one is for use together with the serial loader or a bootloader already installed on the processor so we get two outputs so now we can build when we build we also build the Visual Studio project again however you'll notice the difference that after the internal build we also do an external build. This is the GNU compiler in operation building the uh, target. And it's built two images. The first one, as I explained before, for standalone operation, and the second one to be loaded with a previously installed bootloader. The output of the GCC build can be found in the project's GCC folder there's a build uh, subdirectory where all of the object files are located and the um, binary file which we can then load to the target is located in this directory this is the file if you did want to um, load to a board which has a previously installed serial loader for example then this is the file which would be used instead now I've just connected a freedom board which we built for it's uh, located down here and I'm going to do a drag and drop of the uh, generated uh, binary file to it now I'm taking a terminal emulator to connect you to the board and now we can see that we have the project operating and finally to show that uh, this is really taking place this is the board which is running Many thanks for watching this video, which showed how we started by retrieving the project from the Git repository to simulating it and building it for the real target. The Microtasker project supports already more than 50 hardware boards like this. Within 5 minutes, you can start from zero and get any of these boards running.